we are very, very grateful, and all of the employees in that area are extremely grateful for this project. And in addition to that, we're also seeing two companies in that area that are looking to make expansions based on the improvements that are being made there. So uh, thank you very much for, for that. Project or another in Trumbull County. Million dollar projects, billion dollar projects, doesn't matter. But in seven years in office, none of these guys here that's been stewards has ever filed a grievance against any contractor, and there's been numerous contractors. So with the benefits these guys get, benefits these guys get, we don't get sick days. We don't get vacation pay. If it rains outside, we don't get paid if we don't work. So as a Trumbull County taxpayer, most of these guys, I think they're spending more money dreaming up this stuff here instead of working. So what, Randy's a great guy. He come in there and he's writing his ship. He's doing everything work and saving the county money. And I want to give him commend him for that. He's doing a great job, everyone in that office. Thank you. I've been here for a while. I've been in steel worker for I've been a steel worker for 45 years. And I've been in the union for over 30. And I have never heard anything like this in my life. Our roads are being taken care of because I, I stay in Warren Township. They get plowed. Our county roads. We don't have to call them and say, hey, we need our roads plowed. They're already done when I get up to go to work. So I'm saying this. With the attack on labor, you guys need to rethink your position and start working to, to work out some of these issues you have. Because I'll tell you, if you don't want to be a union rep and give us a good name, then you need to step back and give it to somebody who's going to represent you fair. You have a right to vote them in and you have a right to vote them out. Get them out. No matter what it's been, whether it's been the roads caused by damage, whether it's been rock water problems, whether it's been somebody's uh, concrete driveway was tore up, whenever we've had a problem, the county engineer and the sanitary engineers have been right there, Johnny on the spot. Um, but also on top of that, um, the county engineer's office has saved us money in road salt by the co collaboration with that. They've saved us money in coal patch with collaboration with that. They also were on top of the road use maintenance agreements when the oil and gas industry came in. And Randy is now working on um, the issue with the uh, old buildings and stuff in, in the county where we get them tore down. And he sent Jack, I believe, to school for that. So he has been on top of everything and he's been very reactive Kinsman Township. We are about as far away as we can get, and I see a couple of my friends from Gus Davis were back there. I don't know if they still are, but I think that they would say the same thing. We've had problems in our road department for a period of time. Randy sent his trucks up to plow our roads. Um, so he's been there whenever we've needed them. So speaking on behalf of Kinsman Township, I'd like to thank you, Randy. Hi. My name is Brian Butcher of Clemens Nelson & Associates. I'm here speaking on behalf of the Trumbull County Engineer today. I serve as one of his labor consultants. First, I would like to thank many of the hardworking employees who, uh, who make the engineer's office a great place to work. I see, see some of you here today. I, I thank you on behalf of Engineer Smith. However, my main purpose here is to speak to concerns recently raised by Mr. Doug Cerrito and Mr. Joe Camon. The engineer's philosophy is and wholly always has been a fair day's pay for a fair day's work. As someone intimately familiar with the engineer and OCSEA labor contract, I can tell you that is exactly what the bargaining unit employees of this office earn. To that end, I would like to give a few highlights of the way the benefit <coughs> package offered to the bargaining unit employees. The average highway worker earns approximately $20 an hour. In addition, each member receives a 4% employer-funded pension pickup. Tenured employees earn a longevity payment. The typical workday for a union member begins at 7 and ends at 3. This includes a half-hour paid lunch. Each employee earns 15 sick days annually. Employees earn between 2 to 6 weeks of vacation depending on service time. Employees receive premium pay when overtime is worked. Bargaining unit staff receive 12 paid holidays and a paid birthday holiday. Employees also have the opportunity to use two personal days. Eligible employees receive a tool allowance. Employees receive a clothing and boot allowance. And finally, 
Bargaining unit members have the opportunity to enroll in what I consider a Cadillac insurance plan. In my opinion, this certainly constitutes a fair day's pay. Along with the generous wage and benefit package comes accountability. There is simply certain behavior that the engineer will not tolerate. He will not tolerate sleeping on the job. He will not tolerate intentional damage of county equipment. He will not tolerate delays and detours on one's route to the job site. He will not tolerate dishonesty when it comes to public safety. He will not tolerate one sifting through another's personal mailbox. He will not tolerate untrue and salacious gossiping and rumors about supervisory staff. I, for one, think accountability is a good thing. I know the taxpayers of this county should demand it, and I am proud of working for an engineer who also demands it. Thank you. Years ago, when I started at the engineer's office, I was sitting in Randy Smith's office, and our chief union steward arrived in the office, looked at us, this is what he said to Randy Smith. Hey, don't get too comfortable sitting in that chair because you're not going to have it long. This kind of set the tone for labor management negotiations over the past three years. And I want to go over some facts that I think that you're going to find quite interesting. If you look at your handout, Back in October of 2013, there was an investigation that actually lasted clear to the end of the year. Uh, but I was involved in this investigation. Uh, the investigation dealt with allegations that contaminated dirt had been delivered to a champion site. <coughs> there was news releases, there was news articles, um, there was a lot of media coverage on these allegations. What these allegations led to was a full-scale investigation, not only by the Ohio EPA, but also the Bureau of Criminal Investigation and the Army Corps of Engineers. I participated in that investigation. The result was no wrongdoing found. The complaint was determined to be without merit. On May 24, 2013, a complaint was filed by a union steward with the Trumbull County Sheriff's Department alleging that cameras had been placed in areas of the Trumbull County Engineer's Office where we could watch union women disrobe. They also alleged that there were listening devices that had been placed in the engineer's office so that we could overhear union activity. While this complaint didn't pass the laugh test, the Sheriff quickly found that it had no merit and the complaint was found to be false. Now we go about a year and then the same steward who had filed the complaint about the cameras now files a lawsuit seeking the removal of the Trumbull County Engineer. My name is Dave. I've worked for the County Engineer since 07 and we've had a lot of issues with our union. I'm also a union rep. And we've contacted our union. The majority of our members who are union paying dues members who do not approve of what is going on here have not been heard. Nothing's getting fixed. And enough's enough. We like our job. We're not trying to do anything besides do our job the right way. We all have family that lives here. We all have family that drives up and down the roads. We try to make the roads safe for everybody. On Facebook a couple weeks ago, one of our union reps posted that our union is going to do an informational picket in front of our main office on North River Road. I found out about this on Facebook, not through a meeting, not through a, a anything, on Facebook. So I contacted some of my uh, co-workers and asked them about what's going on. Two things I heard. They had no idea, or yeah, I heard about it. And when asked if I'd do it, they all said, absolutely not. We want nothing to do with this. We don't believe in this. It all boils down to a handful of people that are using our union as a strong arm against Randy Smith. and evidently everybody else in the county because when issues are coming around it comes out of your guys' pockets. 
enough. We don't want it. I did a petition on my own saying that either we didn't know about this picket happening, there was no meeting, there was no vote, we didn't know about it, or we knew about it, and we don't want it. We have 36 union employees that are out of their probationary period. They have voting rights. No questions asked. 36. 25 of them signed it. That's just shy of 70% of the union body does not want this. We're happy what's going on. Sure, we'd like more money. Sure, we'd like to have an extra day off. Who wouldn't? We'd be lying if we said we don't. But the, enough's enough. So we have to make a scene. We can write all the letters. We made the, uh, we've made phone calls to Columbus. We've made phone calls to our, our uh, reps. Nothing's been fixed. So we're here in support of uh, Randy Smith for being who he is. We, we approve of it. And like I said, 70% of our workers, not even not including anybody who doesn't even have their probationary period in who would feel otherwise that they're not protected. 70% of the protected union force don't want this. Boils down to a handful of people that's causing all this, all these issues. And I just want to make this perfectly clear. I took my own time off. I'd much rather take a beautiful day like this and use a couple hours to be at home with my two daughters and my wife playing in the park or going for a bike ride. But I've got to be here supporting for what's right, standing up. And I am so proud and so happy of my fellow employees that's done the same thing. Um, without you guys, without people like me who just had enough, nothing would be fixed. So thank you. I am Randy Smith, the Trumbull County Engineer, hey, and uh, other than what Matt said, it's been a pleasure being the Trumbull County Engineer. <laughs> <laughs> truly, truly an honor, and I know there's, you know, to me this is nothing more than smoke and mirrors, a lot of allegations and, and no findings, and it's getting tiresome, as Matt had said. You know, we want to focus on moving Trumbull County and the Mahoning Valley forward as a whole, and with your help, we're going to continue to do that. Um, I got a great staff out at the engineer's office, both union and non-union. We're going to talk a little bit about that, so you're not confused. I know some of them showed up today, and we want to touch base on that. Uh, but first and foremost, I want to thank you. Those two words come to mind. It's truly very humbling to have you here today uh, showing some support. But I think it's very important that the people I deal with, uh, whether you're a contractor, a vendor, a consultant, you understand my character my beliefs and what I stand for because it's so easy to see something in the newspaper and as you know the newspaper loves to use the word allegation and then there's a story um, but it never gets to the tail end or if they do that story is much smaller. Uh, what I'd like to do today is also thank Brian and Matt uh, for opening the doors and letting the sun shine in and when that happens the cockroaches all scatter and there's a few cockroaches that are scattering today as we speak. I know they're nervous now they're thinking oh no they're paying attention, they know what's going on, and we're going to continue to do that. I'd like to introduce my family. I come from a very small family, and my wife had to go to the doctor today and was unable to make it. But one of my biggest supporters is here, my second biggest supporter, and that's my mother. Just wave. That's enough. I don't want it to go to her head. But what I'd like to do then is introduce my extended family and that's how I view that my extended family and that's my my friends uh, and my brothers from labor and I would ask some of them brother Mike and brother Jody any of the brothers come on up I mean this is my extended family here these are the people that work together brother Jim you know meet my extended family Mike Propovi with the carpenters and I just want to commend Randy on all the work that he's done on behalf of Trumbull County He's worked diligently trying to get money back to this area to repair the infrastructure, the roads, the bridges, treated all of his workers very fairly, been great working with the building trades. We can't say enough for Randy Smith. We can't at all. Jim Taylor with the painter. Uh, we uh, cover Mahoning, Trumbull, and Plumbian counties. Um, there was a project uh, that I talked to Randy about. It's a water tank over near Avon, Avon Oaks. And and uh, we had a conversation. A job went non-union, but it was good for the taxpayers. And uh, you know, the project did get done on time, and uh, no issues. So even though we're friends of Randy, Randy does the best for the taxpayers. Tim Q 
Italian business agent with Plumbers and Bike Fitters. Uh, we have a lot of great support with Randy, great working relationship with him, and we do definitely support what he's doing. Before these guys has found these uh, lawsuits and everything like that, you need to find something better to do because you're not good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd also like to tell you, I'd like to thank some other people too, because I know there's a lot of elected officials here that I work with and, and serve. Uh, as you know, my roots started in Hartford Township as a trustee, and I certainly appreciate the township support, the village support, um, in addition to the others here. Many precinct committee people are here today, and I thank you, and then certainly many close friends that I consider my family. And it's always good to know that you have a family that has your back, and I know my back is well covered. Uh, what I'd like to do, and I'm going to be brief because I know it's been a long meeting already, but I want to tell you a brief story, and, and this dates back to 2008. Back in 2008 when I was running, I was pursuing an endorsement, and I was not successful in that endorsement. And I was disappointed in that, and I went and I met with the group, and the, the decision had been made. And uh, although disappointed, we moved on, but a question came out, out of that meeting. Would I turn my back on them at that point in time? Would I turn my back on them at that point in time because I did not get the endorsement? And without any hesitation, no hesitation whatsoever, I was able to tell them a union job, put a roof over my head, food on the table, and help pay for my education. And I would never forget and I would never turn my back. And that's still my philosophy today. I think that's very important. And I'm proud to be endorsed by the trades by the operating engineers. I know the UAW is here, and, and let me tell you, we got here in our Chevy Cruze, and I'm proud of that. <laughs> and one other endorsement that I want to mention, and that's the Federation of Labor. And I want to be very clear that, you know, I have a great group of employees that I, I support. Uh, in the Federation, there's a lot of public employees here in the county, and they do a tremendous job. And they earn those wages, they earn those benefits, and they understand that we're trying to work together. And sometimes when we're saving money by working together, it's ensuring their job, maybe additional jobs, and it's a win-win. So I don't want anyone to leave here today thinking that this is somehow an attack on public employees because that's the furthest thing from the truth. It's an attack on people that are maybe not serving for the greater good or have self-serving interests. That's where the problem comes into play. <laughs> Over the last couple years, and I certainly want to recognize the Board of Commissioners, uh, between our office and the commissioners, we've had about 15 cost-saving <clears throat> initiatives. Um, and again, that goes back to the communities, and it's, it's something I'm very proud of, and I thank the commissioners for their support as we move forward. I'm going to tell you one more story, and this is a little troubling to me. Uh, back on January 22nd of this year, during the course of a labor management meeting, Doug Salito, an OSCA staff rep, was at the meeting. During the course of the meeting, he came over and he whispered something in my ear. And I quote, play ball with me and I will make all of your legal troubles go away. I control David Engler, end quote. I was surprised at that and I asked for a management caucus so I could share that with my coworkers, my attorneys specifically. I told them what was said. Ironically, Mr. Salito entered the meeting and confirmed that he actually said it. So at that point in time, it was pretty widespread, and that is troubling to me. I don't play that type of ball. I won't be threatened, bullied, or extorted. I'm going to read you a couple letters from the staff, and I think it's important because I want to get at what the problem actually is. You know, if there's a lot of smoke and mirrors, then people get confused. What is the problem? What are the concerns? This was sent to the union by three of our employees and copy to me. These three employees, and I'm just gonna cite a portion of the letter, these three employees are extremely dissatisfied with the union and its representation. Over the course of the last contract negotiations, it was very clear that this union has misguided leadership that cannot effectively communicate and negotiate with the administration to establish a cohesive subdivision of government striving to serve for the public good. Ultimately, that's our goal. The only thing this union with its representatives has accomplished in the past few years is to create a toxic environment for both union and non-union workers and to enable blanketed hardships for all. 
Another letter went on to say, unfortunately working under the existing union leadership here at the engineer's office has been challenging to say the least. Their inability to work with management has created a toxic environment. Again, the letters go on, and, and I'm not going to read uh, the remaining ones. I have a couple more, but they all reiterate the same thing. My goal here today, that if Mr. Salito or Mr. Kimono, who I, I've never met or spoken to, if they have an issue, they can certainly bring it forward to the table, and we'll discuss it in the proper forum. And that's with labor on one side and management on the other, and we will continue to negotiate in good faith. Um, at this point in time, I want to be very clear that we have a whole host of employees here from the engineer's office. I'm very proud of them, and I appreciate the work they do. Uh, before an anonymous call is made to the, a certain newspaper, and I won't call you out, guy, uh, <laughs> a paper located in the city of Warren. Um, I won't call you out, guy, but uh, before that anonymous call is made saying that, you know, Randy Smith is now using county funds to have workers show up at a meeting, the employees have taken their own time. So they're here on their own merits and their own, own accord. I didn't hire actors because I know how the, the river <laughs> will start. But uh, I would just want to say thank you. You know, I have no problem standing on my record and running on my record, uh, what I believe in and my character. And I felt it was time to say it. Um, so the people that do business with the Trumbull County Engineer's Office, do business with Trumbull County, understand who they're dealing with. And when there's nonsense in the, the newspaper or wherever uh, on social media, that you've heard it directly and very forthright. And if you ever have a question, don't hesitate to call. And again, I thank you for coming out today.